Okay, 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 welcome to another episode of the Risk Meta Setting, where we're currently 3.8k off of the GM rank. Today, playing as Pink, we are playing with four humans and one bot, and we're in the first position. Let's have a look at the blizzards. Okay, then. So. I'm thinking Rabat for the early tempo. From the one seat, I would like to also find Black's capital wherever he is at the bot. A very epic looking bot. <laughs> very happy looking guy. We don't see blue. <clears throat> we do not see blue. Do we see green? Um, while we're here, waiting for other people to choose, let's just go through all the blizzards. We can start off in the top left. We have Iceland Southwest, basically useless. It just makes Iceland into a deep corner. Scotland is slightly more. Uh, there's a slightly higher chance of being picked. It's still not great. Green with a very weird central cap. Black bot is in the Alps. We are playing as pink. Remember that we're playing as pink. Red goes London, so we're missing two capitals, we're missing blue, and we're missing white. Everyone else chose pretty quickly. So I'm going to explain the capitals after my first turn. We're going to attack this too. Why not? Be greedy. Ooh, didn't lose a troop out there. It's beautiful dice. Thank you very much, sliders. Okay, so as I was saying, Iceland doesn't do anything. Into Scotland guards Iceland as well. It's a bit pathetic. We have the Gascony Cat making Spain a deep dark corner, which is why I went to Rabat. We have the Bavaria Cat, which kind of chokes up Europe a little bit. You can block off central parts of Europe with an Alps and a Rhine. We have the Albania cap. It's called something else. I can't pronounce the territory name, so it's called Albania for me. Which kind of just makes uh, Romania a nice cap, I'd say. Romania makes Romania is pretty solid here. We can go for a one v one. We have the Mecca and Medina. Which just makes Orient a bit more choky. We have Ankara, which cho uh, which cuts Orient off. That's a bit interesting. And finally, we have the main Russia and the unpronounceable territory just above. Those two A split off Russia with this one up here, and B make the pathway from Orient through Russia that much more choky. Okay, with that out of the way, let's see what the black. Bot does please do not hit my throat. Good down. Oh, uh, uh. Hey. Don't move back into the two. Ooh, unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. If that was a free capital, then we would have definitely taken it. Now, my issue with this capital in Rabat is that okay, I'm holding a one point guard on Spain. Turn one. What do you do? Now, what? Right? I need to spiral this position into some sort of crazy rapid win. Otherwise, late game, I will be card blocked by one, two. Simple as that. <clears throat> Everyone knows that I held it. I also have 15 territories, which means a couple of extra troops. Okay, what's a good second bonus on this map? We have Red's capital in London, kind of rules out France. And right next to the bot, if we're in Italy, I don't like the look of that. So, it appears that we're going for a North Africa second. We're going to shore up this capital. 11 looks good enough to me. And white is naturally... Benghazi, because of course they are, why wouldn't they be? Okay, another spanner in the works, but a potentially useful spanner. Hmm. 
white thing oh no white knows that i'm cat in the back because he has the two next to it but i don't know what that really was a reference to personally um i probably should have moved the three that's going to be here so unless someone breaks the black bot this three is giga dead this three is giga dead and I definitely should have moved it and combined into that too. It was... It's not Giga Dead. Interesting. I expected that 3 to be all sorts of dead and it isn't. That's good. Now I need... White's gun. Speak too soon, why don't I? Okay, Black's Cap is free. Let's probably go for that then. Red holds full new corner plus 12 territories. I also don't mind if white opens up my cap down here as long as they don't add to theirs. That's not a cap, it opens up the seven, you know what I mean. Um, red looking to take France blocks off their capital. Fine. You do you, buddy. You do you. At the moment I'm not scared of the red player. He is going to have to hit quite literally everyone else before he gets anywhere near me. That's fine. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Nine groups against the three. I don't know what that guy just hit. But thanks for the capital. <laughs> we'll take it. Blue comes out of Istanbul, sees the capital in Benghazi. Green with the weird Poland cap. I don't think I've seen a Poland cap before, I'll be honest. But he's rocking it. He's rocking it. Goes into the capital using sliders. We'll use that information. Okay, how can we snowball? Black held Scandinavia? Black is holding a lot of extremity territory, so they're not holding anything normal. Uh, they're not holding Central Europe. They're still holding Alps. They're not Central Europe. They are Scandinavia. That's a surprise. And also good. Having a strong bot right on red's borders means that red hopefully gets hit by the bot. Not this turn. But it also means that red hopefully hits the bot. Both ways are fine by me. Okay. It's a very lucky turn three there. We found white giving away capitals. Red takes black out of sky. Takes me out of that corner of Russia too. Slightly unfortunate, but not all surprising. White is down to just the three troops. I wonder why that is. We managed to have somewhere else to put in that isn't this too, so they're somewhere else. Best bet may just be trying to take the black capital when it presents itself. Speaking of which, let's go a searching. I reckon if I take I need that much and I think that's probably good. So let's have a look. There's two troops there and it's free because of course it is. We're having a great ones. Ooh, That's a lot. Mm, don't like that. That's fine. We'll take a third cap, we'll see if we can hold that. Blue is getting nine, blue holds southeastern. Blue is attempting to break North Africa, even though it's never token taken. Very tiny. Oh no, it goes up, that's fine too. Okay. Now does the black bot hit my nine cap? Green hits hard off of the Poland, across to black, takes Eastern Europe. 
Black is down to just three. Hit out of Scandinavia below 12 territories. Sets on six, but I don't think takes. Doesn't take out. No way it rolls. 12v9? Uh, no. Elsewhere. Thank you. Now, does red hit it? That's my other issue. Red could hit this capital. Red is getting very strong out of the new corner very, very quickly. We may be on three caps, but they're on 18 troops a turn already. How many of them go into the seven? Eight? That's fine. The cap holds. Sets early as well. I'm really not scared about this red player. I expect them to break green too. No. Maybe they don't know green's holding. Okay, where can white be? White cannot be in Scandinavia. White could only <laughs> could be just down here, which would be a sad day. It may be killing white turn. Let's give it a go, shall we? We're not going to set for it, but if it happens, it happens. We are going to put... Do we set for it? It's the eight. If we get it, it's then the ten. Okay, fine, we'll set early. Go against everything. I want to put more troops here. That's all that is. We spent a while sliding, so we need to go quickly with our sliders, quickly with our sliders. Ooh, Joker too. Oh, that made me use, don't, don't do that to me. Not show me the Joker and then make me use it instantly, that's rude. Um, most of these need to go on an outward facer, so these are going to go six and four. And then we're going to finish it off. Like so. And taking the whole of the south of the map. 11 of our original cap, and we have 18 and 21 facing outwards. We are now one card behind everyone else, having taken that trade on the four. What are we allowed to hold? Blue is looking for Orient. I'm not against it. No, I am. I am against it. Mm, no, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We haven't done anything to openly annoy Blue yet. Blue may be operating out of the Romania cap that we suggested earlier. Potentially. Green did get broken. Green could only have been broken... Green could only have been broken in Lviv, and likely by too much bot, which is why he then took my external out, is my guess. Green is pretty weak. The black bot traded last turn. Same as red. This may be the end of the bot too. If that's the case, I'm happy. It's my three my one protected by the red two and that's a red one it gets hit oh that's scary oh god what is that guy holding 22 let's count we think full new coin goes for italy cool right full new corner eight western europe 12 one capital. Oh, don't you dare. Yes, you dare. Yes, you dare. Hit it. Hit everything. Hit everything, you greedy guy. Greedy guy. Yes. Oh, yes, that's good too. So he kills the black bot. Doesn't set in turn. He's on the same cards as me. That's not a good kill for him to take. How many troops did he have to kill for that? He had to kill at least these uh, 14, at least. Not worth it. For two cards? Not worth it. Right. He's actually a card ahead of us. 
and we have to hit him this turn. I think. We have to hit someone this turn. It may as well be hit. Leave 10 down there for me to hit. Okay. I'll hit him. Fine on me. Fine on me. And we'll break you down there so that we don't open up. London. Go back into that cap. That cap is nice and strong. Trading turn. Blue holds just southeastern. You don't want to hit that capital. You don't hit the capital. Good. I don't know how strong my normal capital is. I do have set on four. Okay. Red, I expect, will hurt. Maybe I shouldn't have hit them too badly. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Maybe I should have taken against blue instead. Or maybe I should have taken in Vienna off the cap. I think hitting red's 10 that's down in the boot of Italy was very aggressive. It's an open sign of aggression that I doubt he took kindly to. Hmm. Perhaps too aggressive. Green trades to 15. This game is going very quickly. That's good. We want a fast game. Fast game right now favours us. If the trades are only worth 15, we're currently holding a lot more than 15. And the trade is three turns worth of cards. So that's good. Green is still using sliders. And still generating five compared to the nine of blue. They're hitting each other, which is good. Red still holds a lot. That's scary. Trades the 20. Yeah, they're coming for me. Okay. Open the main cap. Big scary. That's time noted. That pause briefly. Just allow it. I will be back very quickly. that happens though. I'd like to take this back please. Ten cap. We'll lose 22 for it. And we'll leave it there. We'll lose the three out as well. Blue holds Orient, sets the 30. Dangerous. Dangerous. Good thing we didn't annoy Blue. Blue sets the 30 on 3. Where is that set going? It goes from the north. It's gone all the way around Green's capital. It goes red. Yes! Legend. My open red's capital might not be an issue. Let's see. Green's going to go before that happens, though. Oh, I love you, blue. getting hit through. Probably getting fed up with it. Doesn't set. Just takes card passes back. Red got broken pretty well. Possibly even cap taken. Difficult to calculate. He's holding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight extra territories to what we'd expect. Which kind of throws off that calculation anyway. Um, so this turn, 
I will leave the 12 cap down there. I will block off the 12 cap. Make it obsolete. I'd like, I'd like my main cap to be this PS cap. wants to hit me again, he can. We're gonna add these back to the Rabat the cap there. Blue holding 22, same as what red was. This game is very quick. Green is fine to, green is more than happy to card and pass. Whereas blue and red want to hold stuff. How did the red get that last turn? I didn't check. In time we have me holding 16, red held 10. Uh huh. <clears throat> red held 10. Blue comes through from the red capital. Don't hit any more. You, thank you. Move back into the capital. Well done. Green held Eastern Europe. Where is red? Red is in Central Europe and not much else. Green gets the red kill. Rolls with sliders still. Blue is now much stronger than me. And blue has blocked themselves off. Red is still alive off cap. He doesn't set, I kill him. He does set. He stays alive a little bit. Okay, those go into blue because blue is hitting the hardest. Where was red left alive? Does it matter yet? No. What do we do? We do what we should have done the first time we were in this position, which is take a card on Vienna and pass it back. We're holding 32 troops worth of the board. I'm more than happy with that. That's going to go to a 32 cap. This is going to become a very strong 46, hopefully. After we do that, we go back. That there is the least offensive and least blocking hit for us. Blue holes 25, similar number, slightly lower than us. And probably does best part of an eradication on red depending on how much red wasted of their own stack. Blue kills red is good for us, because that would be using, I assume, more than... Let's have a look. If it's anything more than 15 troops for the one card, it's not likely to be all too worth it. Also puts himself out of turn with green for those cards. So with the all out of sync for each other. Moves into cap, red stays alive. Interesting. Green sets on five, gets the 40. Okay. That's 50. That's fine. We're strong enough. Oh, Hello. Don't go down there. I have 46 troops on just that capital. Good. The message has worked. He moves back to capital. Red is still super weak. I would like to get this kill on red, but I'm only really looking to do it when it's going to set me in turn, which is not this turn, but next turn. Next turn... I will be on five cards, red will be on three, assuming he gets two good attacks in in the next two turns, and that blue doesn't murder them when they're on two cards. Blue could murder them on two cards so they can set in turn. That is a possibility also. We're going to add a little bit to the Rabat cap. We got very lucky we were able to spiral out so early here. This is very, 
very promising. Okay, we're not going to take the set on four, we're going to wait for the set on five. We want this to become a 40, we want this to become a 30 I reckon, and then the rest can go on the Trieste. Because we Trieste the hardest. And then they come back. Blue holds roughly the same as me. That's great for him. Where is red? Red, oh wait, I didn't realise. Uh, red's only been on two cards for me. Because he, oh, he didn't, oh, he didn't trade. He didn't, he didn't get a card. He got a card lot like blue, who's trying to wait. Uh, I guess if he waits another turn, he can set in turn with the one extra. Maybe, maybe that's the plan. I'm not sure, not sure. Okay, what does green do? Blue is on four. Green sets instantly to not die. I would like to work with blue as long as possible here. However, my issue is that I am running out of places to hit from and hit with. For instance, this turn I can set on to mainly the Trieste cap, and I can hit up from there, however as soon as I do that, it's then blocked off. 119. Okay. Loses 27, out hit a capital I think. Splits them half and half, red is still off cap, blue lost Romania cap. So I'm not going to quite lock it in just yet, but like, it's probably there. Now, as soon as we hit Hungary, we're going to have a look and see if the cap run is on. I doubt it though, as green had 100 and lost 27. And there's two caps alive just there. Blue, however, might be worth the kill. We add into Orient. Worth the kill. Good luck. I'm encouraging a cap run, and I don't want to go for it. Shut up. We don't have enough. Nope. 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 All sorts of nope. Nope, nope, nope. Comes for me because I'm trying to kill him. I mean, okay. No, he goes back for his capital, which is still free. Oh, go for your cap. Go for your cap. Go for your cap. Okay, break screen on the way. That's fine too. There's your cap. It's free, have it. Green hit you for nothing. Don't come for me. It's not worth it. For you. Okay, do you can't hit that one. Move back into the capital. Green is a much better player than blue is. We need to go break this turn. You wanna break me? No, you hit blue. That's good too. That's very good too. Let's 
Blue's cap die. No. Kills red. Doesn't set that up. Green is moving slowly, I'm not sure if it's intentional. Kills red. It's moves always tricky. Green is not red, but he's better than blue. Green has the same number of cards, and he's going to get an extra card as well at the end of the turn, naturally. Right. 33 troops. And we go take and pass. Taking down here, I'm not gonna break. Taking not breaking. Taking not breaking, right. Blue gets eleven holding two capitals plus southeastern. Let's follow him. No, corner. And him. Fully. Okay. Left one behind in Denmark. For reasons. Take Scandinavia. Okay, blue's really not great. How many do we have? We do have set on four. Blue will be on three cards when we set on four. That's not a great kill, doesn't set us in turn. Green will be on five, but a much more difficult kill. The green hold France? The green actually just hold France. Green takes this blue cap, I think I can't run. Doesn't. Smart. Hits that cap. There's nothing else he can be hitting here. He has a couple of hits on blue over here. If he comes through blue over here, maybe not. But I think he's taking this cap. So, if he's taken this cap, we are going to trade the 65. Can we put the troops anywhere interesting? One, two, three, no. So they don't matter. I put everything into Venice and not into this capital. I put it into Venice so that my capital is still open to the rest of the map. Six. Yes, I will be taking that. It's 42 for it. We're going to make this. We're going to make the cap corner. We never have to think about it again. We're going to put the three that we got in there as well. Blue sees has got up to four. Can blue make themselves not die next? Forty-five cap is very strong. This Benghazi cap is interestingly weakened by the Romania cap in combination with the Albania blizzard. Not to mention the split Orient as well kind of slows it down. Yeah, if the cap, if the blizzard was in Istanbul instead of in Ankara, this cap is then much stronger. Then, yeah, you know, for everyone, yeah. yeah. Is it actually, hmm, is it made stronger by the Romania cap? Because it kind of works together where, I mean, so the way down, you'd have to go through Romania, whereas the way across, you'd have to go through Benghazi, so together they work pretty well. But of course it doesn't just have to be Benghazi, it could be anywhere along there that would be doing the same thing. Blue bots. Blue bots, we would like to kill them first, because they botted, and that's not nice, don't bot. Now, green is in a very tough place. They only have 16 troops this turn. And they can only open this... Uh, they can only hit this way. Hit this way. Or open this cap even further than it's already opened. Because we didn't take Vienna. 
we left our cap able to hit theirs. Their cap is able to hit ours, but their cap is able to hit nothing else. So our cap is able to hit all the way around. Uh -huh. He wants to break North Africa. That's understandable. Break all you can. You don't want to hit that. That's going to open the cap Break, break. Good. Breaks Iceland too. Breaks the seventy-five percent. Makes it work. Doesn't open the capital. Okay. So what do we do in retaliation? We decide that the blue bot didn't trade its cards when it became bot, so the blue does not have the set on three. Okay. What does that mean? The blue bot is going to have to trade the set on. Uh, is not going to trade the set on three, so it's going to be worth the kill when it's on four. Focusing on sliders today. It's uh, now he can hit us any. No, he can't. He can't hit the enemy. He can't. No, that's great. At the end, it's so strong. Me having him hold it. That makes sense. Me having him hold that Vienna makes me much stronger. That's quite funny. Okay, what we can do? We can move to three into a capital, not too fast. Okay, blue doesn't set. Let's see if they open the capital. They're back. That looked like they're back. They're back. They do open the capital. Thank you, sir. Oh, you opened his capital too. Less thank you. Less thank you. You want to have a look at London. Thank you for opening that one. That's a good one for you to have open. You didn't even lose a troop hitting a 93%. Okay, he's invincible. He is invincible. <laughs> Just hitting stuff. Excellent. Okay. So the trade is the 70. Trade is a 70, we do not have one on th on th Green goes around the top. Turns out that London is open and that it's unlikely to be killed. Stand south instead. That's fine. Now you can only break West Africa and North Africa. You can possibly hit the Rabat cap, but if you do that, I think you're dead. So, you get the Rabat cap, you can break North Africa. Western Sahara doesn't hit the Rabat cap. Okay, has restraint. Unfortunate, but they have restraint. Okay, when they have restraint, that means that we need to just gently guide them towards their own demise. Showing a similar level of restraint. Good. We're going to leave that cap open. And we're going to add more to this one. Does blue set on four? No, they don't. Blue is now worth killing, I think. Yeah, 93%. Rolls the 2v1, rolls the 1v1. Once again, just in case you're new to this, don't blitz a 1v1. The chances are skewed. In balanced blitz, where oh, and green sets green for kill blue, that would give them better placement. Um, yes, same words. That's what I'm doing. Um, yes, dice ask you so that if it is, if the chances of you winning a fight would normally be fifty percent, then it will be about the same. If, however, the chances were worse 
50%, you'll have a lesser chance of winning. And if the chances were more than 50%, you'll have a higher chance of winning. Thanks for the opening the six, very useful. Also moves off to break Russia, we now know the size of your capital, thank you sir. Breaks Orient too. fine. Doesn't break Orient, doesn't get there in time, okay. No set on four, you're killing me here game, you're killing me. No set on four, we just need to kill blue and double set then. Uh, we can kill blue with that cap if we need to as well. So we're going to go this way. This way. We will have more than enough. Let's attack that. All those. Oh, we lose quite a few. Double set. Ah, we get a ah, we get a thing for holding a lot of cards. Great. We double set. We get rid of this nasty bit of green growing inside of us. We get rid of this nasty bit of green growing inside of us. We get rid of this nasty bit of green growing inside of us. And we place the troops pretty evenly, I reckon, in the two capitals. So let's get rid of some. whole board minus green's capital. That looked like a GG. It was. We'll give him a GG back. We'll give him a well played. We'll set. Because we can. We're stylish. And we'll take the world. Card. <laughs> that is a lovely fast one. That is how you spy them. A very closed position from the start. Wonderful. Okay. Here are days.